Hey guys, welcome back to another product spotlight. My name is Brandon, I'm the product manager here at 3DX Tech, and today we're going over Altem 90D5. Altem 985, much like Altem 1010, is a PEI or polyether image material produced by Sabic. Sabic makes this resin, which we then turn into our filament. This material is widely used in the aerospace, automotive, medical, and manufacturing industries for quite a few reasons. Among those are its high strength to weight ratio, its chemical resistance, its radiation resistance, as well as its flame retardant capabilities. Concerning mechanical properties, Altem 985 has a tensile strength of 54 megapascals, a tensile modulus of 2050 megapascals, a flexural strength of 90 megapascals, a flexural modulus of 2170 megapascals, and a heat deflection temperature of 158 degrees Celsius. This material has a lot of key features that make it very popular with the aerospace market. The main one being its flame rating of UL94V0, meaning that while the material can burn, once the flame source is extinguished or at least removed, the material will then self-extinguish on its own. If the material does burn, it is FST rated, which stands for flame smoke and toxicity, so that while the material is burning, any smoke or gases that it puts out are technically below the safe limit for human exposure. Altum 985 has an FAR standard, which means that it is suitable for aerospace seating applications, but that mostly revolves around the foamed applications. So let's talk about some common applications for Altum 985. Moving back to aerospace, this material is widely used in a lot of aerospace applications. When you sit down in an airplane, a lot of the plastic pieces around you are made out of Altum 985, and a lot of those are even 3D printed. We've seen this material used in air vents, bend dividers, armrests, light panels, and many, many more inside an aircraft. Again, the flame retardant capabilities of this material, along with the low smoke generation and the ability for it to take some pretty aggressive cleaning agents makes this material ideal for the interiors of aircraft. When lightweight, high temperature, and high chemical resistance all come together, you know the automotive market's gonna have a use for this material. Altem 985 sees a lot of under the hood applications, such as intake manifolds, exhaust manifolds, cable clips, electronic housings due to its hydrocarbon resistance and its resistance to road salts. The manufacturing market likes to use Altem 985 due to its high strength to weight ratio. Altem 985 is going to be stronger than Altem 1010 in the sense that it's more ductile, whereas Altem 1010 can be very strong but also very brittle. Altem 985 has a lot more ductility to it, so if it's more of a rough and ready application that's going to be in contact with a lot of other moving parts and high temperature, Altem 985 might be the way to go over an Altem 1010. Altem 1010 has a higher heat ceiling than 985, but for the majority of applications, Altem 985 still gets the job done. Now printing with Altem 985 does require a more extensive setup like the other high temperature materials. Unlike Altem 1010, it doesn't require as much heat, but it still requires more than a PLA or PETG, nylon, or even polycarbonate. We here at 3DX Tech have found that a chamber temperature of 190 C puts the best mechanical properties in front of you as possible. Printing with a chamber temperature lower than 190C can get you apart, but your Z-strength, your layer adhesion, and warping can tend to get a little out of control, whereas that chamber temperature of 190C gets you maximum properties and locks in all of that. If you're gonna be buying a material as expensive as Altem 985, you might as well get the maximum properties out of it. Altem 985 is also highly moisture sensitive, much like Altem 1010. We dry our Altem 985 at 150C here uh, overnight before we ship it out to you, but we do put the material on a high temperature plastic reel so that if it does get wet while you have it, you can dry this at home if needed. Thanks for tuning in to another product spotlight on Altem 985. I hope this brief overview gave you enough information to get another project moving and decide if this is the right material for you. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us at www.3dxtech.com. You can also find this material on our website and we'll link the product page in the description below. Thanks.